Arten Villa Mine, Messina, South Africa. A, a pretty large, maybe hand length, um, quartz crystal coated, finely dusted with epidote. It appears to be a floater. Yes, it is a floater. Crystalline all the way around, so it would have formed like this in nature. Uh, typically, one finds inclusions of hematite in these guys. So the pinkishness to reddishness would be caused by hematite inclusion. Now, what we always look for are the elusive edgeoite and papagoite. Now, blue I don't see here. Possibility of edgeoite. Um, please note, only edgeoite if I mention it in my description. But what we are going to do, we're going to have a very close look. So I'm going to move it in so we can have a better look at the the crystal faces. Of course the adroite would show itself as turquoise little sprays of needles. Um, I don't see any here. Don't get confused between the grey of the hematite and the the turquoise needles of the adroite. Lovely piece. Uh, lengthwise we're looking at probably a, a four inches plus from corner to corner. Oh and let's show you the crystallization on this side. There we have a whole little face of crystals running across there. So a floater, I don't think this one's got any contact, so a pretty perfect specimen. Um, let's go across here. Closer look in there, so what we're looking for now is color. The cloudiness could be some kale and clay trapped inside there as well. And of course on the back it's got the slight coating of uh, epidote. 